Today's video is something I picked up offhand. So, long story short, which will probably end up being long. I've been trying to get a replacement mouse pad for a while. Saw this and I thought, meh, why not? Now, originally I had tried to, well, sorry, my, the first mouse pad I bought that I really liked was this uh, blue top with a black bottom on it, it was silicon with some fabric cloth. It was great, worked great for many years. After many years, it degraded to the point where I needed to replace it. I went through about four of them. Two I bought online. One was cheapest thing I could find in China, which just basically was terrible. Then I tried to buy something from Australia on eBay, same sort of thing. It just wasn't good. I tried to buy two locally. They were a bit more expensive and they sucked. So I thought, well, the advertisement bling for this was ooh fancy, but it should cover what I want. I will say, however, just on the front of it, this is too much flashy advertisement. I mean, I get the wank wank about how we're going to make everything look pretty and... First off, odd shape. Yeah. Use of plastics also getting to be a bit sort of old in today's world, but I have to admit I agree. Less plastic, better, you know, cardboard, at least you can recycle cardboard, whereas plastic, yeah. Well, there are ways to recycle it and there are ways of reusing it, but I digress. Now, for something that's trying to be flashy flashy, uh, the bottom of this, how you can actually tr you know, feel what it's, yeah, okay, but also really a waste. If this is being sold in a shop, just have something in store. This size, for instance, doesn't have to be hexagon. No, it's not hexagon. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking of shapes right now. Something like this as a demo that people can touch, great. On the actual box, bit of a waste. Still, I might see if I can reuse that. Because I've been getting into some uh, tinkering projects and I've been trying to make things, which is a bit fun. So, uh, advertisement. Uh, now, I will state from here, um, yes, I did pay for this. At the moment, it was going for $19. And I thought, well, everywhere else seems to be selling it for less. There are places online that are selling it for more. So, $19 seemed like a reasonable price. Um, I am pretty damn sure that this was made by a third party and the Logitech logo was just thrown on here because most stuff like this is. Anyway, now what I noticed is that you've got multiple sticky adhesives, which I can understand. Packing wise, I think these being flat, they would have been able to ship out more. Also probably would have been able to save a bunch more money so these things could have been sold for less. And while yes, quality does usually go along with price, there's a particular point where it's just ridiculous. And this is a classic example of such. That's what I'm feeling, so... <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's not good. Now, I suppose what this could be useful for is if you're using, um, gee, I don't know, cleaning chemicals to see if it's actually going to damage them. Actually, that's a good idea. Let's see what this does to it. So, as I said before, this does seem like a waste for the, the grand scheme of things, but yeah, anyway, it's quite lightweight actually. So inside we have, a, okay, before use, 
This product contains small delicate parts which may cause choking hazard or injury or death, especially to children. <sighs> yep, so safety thing, standard sort of Australian thing. Wow, that is thin. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see how this grip That printing's cheap. But wow, okay, bigger than I thought. Comfortable one millimeter rubber base. Ah, okay, so I didn't read that part. 340 by 280 millimeters. Yeesh, this is really. I understand how flashy advertisement is important on products but this just degrades the product a bit sorry to say I do like the look and feel of the mat it's probably a little bigger than what I need so I may end up cutting this down actually but still I'm hoping this will stop my mouse from jittering Why would they go with this hexagon? Yeah, this just baffles me, this design. I mean, yeah, it's fancy and everything, but... Eh. Now... Huh. So it torn apart. It's definitely some kind of fabric, a top layer. And I mean, to rip that off, it did take a fair bit of, um, hmm. you know, I, I seriously have to wonder what would happen if you were to cut down on materials with this thing, because, interesting. Anyway, so offhand from the other mouse pads I've seen, this is definitely bigger. Well, purchased. I definitely like the feel of this a little more I mean we can try I mean, it's not really scientific but and you have to do that a hell of a lot more it doesn't look like the layers are going to separate as easy as before, neither. Hence, you know, proper sort of product. But can I cut them apart? <laughs> I don't think I'm willing enough to try as hard as I should, but... Ooh, the layers appear to be really adhesed together. Okay. So how easy does this cut? Oh, cuts rather nicely. Except for its inability to stay straight. So this could be a downside of the uh, mat, is that if you apply Okay, so that's not trying on the wood base, but on the cutting mat, there does seem to be a little bit of movement. Yeah, that moves a bit. All right, let's be a little bit more scientific about this and not use. But if I flip this up. Okay, so I am noticing a little bit of, yeah, there's a little bit of movement in this. So does it advertise? Service of optimal, 
Central Performance. All right, so this is designed specifically for um, moderate surface friction for low DPI mouse. Okay, uh, that's an accurate description then. So this isn't as sort of one shot as I thought. <laughs> now I kind of feel like I wasted my money. Uh. Okay, because I'm not gaming, this should be fine. I'm not going just general sort of mouse movement, so that's fine. It doesn't seem like it's going to separate easily, which is the other big problem I had. And if I get a proper cutter, something better than this, I should be able to cut this down to the size I need, which is great. As for using this in another project, I, at this point, honestly can't guess about what I would use. Okay. Just put that clip back on. Oh, well. I will say that hopefully this won't cause any issues for me going on in the future and this will resolve my mouse pad issues and the my mouse has this thing where it seems to just gently move around every now and then so if I walk step away from my computer or if I'm doing the dishes or something else around the flat what I'll notice is the screen will keep coming on and off and I thought wait what's going on here saw it moving one day and I'm thinking okay that's something that's not good disconnected the internet and the modem so no internet and the mouse was still moving. So I'm guessing it's just the expensive Razer mouse that I have that's doing that sort of little jittery thing and not someone who's in my system and screwing around. Okay. That's a lot off my chest. So this was the unboxing and I'm gonna say analyst, uh, analyzing the G240 Cloth Gaming Mouse Pad. Yibbidi yibbidi. Wait. Yibbidi yibbidi.